war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. All right, so I'm all dolled up, ready for this evening, hopefully. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, sir. Ah, uh, gotta have my morning coffee for sure. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Little light reading later, probably. But now let's catch up on the news. Hmm. More of the same. As always. Thank you, Codsworth. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. He really is. Although I'm still not so sure about that claw and the saw, let alone the flamethrower, but, you know, he, he does pretty well, all things considered, I guess. Good old USA. I'm so proud of her. Yeah. It's just relax and watch the news, I guess. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. <sighs> you every day. And I just sat down too. I mean, seriously. I'll just tell him what he wants to hear. Good morning, Voltec calling. Good morning. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is, it's inevitable, I'm afraid. 
and coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Well, if there's room for my entire family. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Tell me more about this vault. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission. It's our passion. Sure, why not? Sure, let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Yep, and I'll sign my name right here. That looks to be about correct. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Speaking of Sean... Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. Alright. You heard Codsworth. Go on. Dad of the Year, come into the rescue. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Uh-oh. Did he spill something again? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, Wait. blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying what? To get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. Um, explosions? We do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My god. Oh my god. We need to get to oh the no. Now! Okay, we're gonna run. Are they behind me? There she is. Okay. Good, good. Female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good you luck, two, ma'am. Follow me. Come on. Us What's going to happen to all those people outside We're doing the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Come on, honey. They'll take care of them, I'm sure. Step on the platform in the center. 
Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Get it down. Get it down. Come on. Oh god. Oh god. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just. Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later. <laughs> No, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're Run. safe now. It's gonna be okay, Everyone, right? Just head up these stairs yeah, I'm sure. and through the door there. These are what these vaults this is what these vaults are designed for. I'm sure they never thought they'd have to actually implement them. Okay, so I just Here. grab a suit. Yeah, looks over there. Take a suit. Excuse me. I was a nuke. A goddamn nuke. Yeah, but we made it. We're fine. We'll need your suits before we can take you further. Right. I was waiting for Mr. Russell here, but he seemed to be in shock. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. It's down the hallway right there. Okay. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. How oh, long God, do you think we'll be down here? they didn't make it. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit, don't you think? The bald suit is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? <laughs> Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Oh. You got him? It'll be okay. Daddy's right here. Yeah. Honey, honey <clears throat> could you help me? Of course. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. <sighs> See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. Why is it so cold? Okay, I'll... I'll do it. God will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four. Oh man, my head. I'm so cold. Are they getting us out? Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. 
Mercy. I'm not giving you time. Oh. Hmm. You bastard. Come on, come on. Oh, God! Laura, are you okay? Oh. She's not breathing. I'll find who did this. And I'll get shot. You can count on that. I promise. Okay. There's a terminal here. Maybe there's some information. Um. Offline premature termination resulting in system failure. Isolated manual and remote overrides detected. Manual and remote overrides. Let's see. Pod occupant status. Warren Sean. Override engaged. What about me? Remote override. So, they must have opened my pod after they left remotely. He called me the backup. Maybe that has something to do with it. You might need these to do something here. <sighs> I don't think there's going to be a maintenance representative near here. Uh, what in the world is that? <sighs> I don't know what it is. But I'm definitely going to squash it. I don't like bugs. Oh. Survival hoarding instincts are kicking in here. There's one of them now. Ah. Giant roaches. Take his meat. Take another baton. Cigar box. I could go for a cigar right about now. Okay. Just take everything. Leave nothing behind. Everything is useful. I learned that in my survival training in the military. Nothing else in here, it seems. Oh. Okay. Let's move forward. I'm gonna wait. Because that thing might get zapped. Or not. We try to go for it. Oh god. There's more of them. 
Got him. Oh, there's another one. Golly. Okay. Take everything, everything is useful. More roaches. Oh, oh Jeez. Oh, I could use some water. Oh, gosh. This area looks safe. Stim pack's perfect. Oh. Even better. A gun. Take that. Eyeglasses. Anything else? I don't think I can hack that. But I can use this one. Let me look around real quick, make sure I don't miss anything. So. More ammunition's always good. Nothing in that cabinet. Nothing in these dressers. Perfect. Okay. Alright, now let me see. That terminal may open this. Door here. Vault 111 overseer instructions. Vault 111 is designed to test the long, long term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Your staff will be short term on short term assignment to monitor basic cardio, pulmonary, and cognitive functions. Long term monitoring will be handled remotely by Vault Tech. Under no circumstances is suspension to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Your staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations under cryogenic. Unused cryogenic pods are preferred method for cadaver disposal. What? This was an experiment? They were experimenting on us. October 23rd. It's happened. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warnings came through. through. We had less notice than expected, but only Nordhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Residents went smoothly. Everyone made it. Even the family that waited until the last minute. That was us. I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things happen so fast for those people. They must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. I thought it was cold. Nobody said anything. Systems malfunction. Strange issue today with pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening but unusual. We realized almost too late that the pod, too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic... The cryogenic array almost started thawing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup on Vault-Tex's Vault remote override system may have sent an errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope these systems are reliable enough once we evacuate the staff. Surprise, supplies are in low. There's been no all-call signal yet. Even though we're Nearing the end of the 180-day mandatory shelter period, supplies were never intended to last more than that, and despite the, our best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that early. If the vault seals are breached that early, the whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just... Can 
Muni. A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave. The vault, idiots. I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff, staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, that's for your mouths to feed. So we were experimented on, and then the overseer of this vault was... experienced a mutiny. But there was more information on the terminal back there. I can't get into that one, otherwise I'd see what it says. Huh. Hold on, let me sneak. I don't know what to expect. More roaches. More giant roaches. Just what I need. Here, if I step to the side over... There we go. I think I got all of them. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any movement. Let me make sure to get all of this meat. I'm definitely coming handy down the road. Okay. So far, so good. Got him. I hear movement. Got it. Okay. Now, let me look around here. There might be something useful. what I thought, a locker over here. There we go. Now, what's this? I've heard about these boys. They're like portable computers. I've actually got to use one myself. This could definitely be useful. Okay. And this looks like it interfaces with the bit boy. Nice. This would be really cool if I wasn't the only survivor. left to do.
out. Why ain't Sean? He's tall enough to walk under. I'm coming for you, Sean. 